Hi Photos subscribers, today we are talking about how do lenses work. Today we're going to discuss the convex nature of lenses. Let me turn this around and see if we can get a, a good look at this here. You can see here this is the edge of my magnifying glass and there's a bubble-like look. Let's see if I can get it tilted back over here. A bubble-like effect on the front edge and the back edge. And this is the side view of my magnifying glass and it has a flat band around the edge. This is not glass, so it does not have the distortion that other magnifying glasses may have. And a lot of magnifying glasses are going to be corrected so that it does not turn your image upside down. However, if you look in a spoon, the spoon is the opposite of a convex surface like we have here. So we'll talk about that in another video, but you, you remember looking into a spoon and seeing the reflection is upside down? That would be the effect of what your camera sees when it, the light passes through this lens and it's looking at something. It actually, uh, the dis distortion there is it turns everything upside down. It's kind of trippy if you go to any museums that are science oriented and they show you that sort of thing. It's very intriguing to look and see how different materials will process what is seen as you look through them. This I believe is a piece of PVC or some type of plastic, but it is given a convex nature which magnifies what is seen through it. You can see my face is larger and if you start to see a little bit more now you probably see, start to see some of my hair and maybe my chin around the magnifying glass. Everything through the magnifying glass appears larger than what you see around the magnifying glass and it creates an odd look. That is magnification. Magnification happens when you see something through a convex piece of material which allows for magnification. This is convex on the front and the back edge. The reason I brought this out here to give you an, a visual illustration is this is not the exact replica, but it is very much looks similar, very much similar to what your lens is in your lens for your camera. There's actually going to be multiple of these style lenses all the way through your lens, but the light as it passes through this lens will hit the very edge of your lens and come through at a different speed, quote unquote, different, it's just the same light wavelength, but it will be received out here and re uh, received through the center of your lens and it'll pass through all being shoved toward the center of your lens so that it passes through the diaphragm of your lens and will allow the color, the light for exposure, and all of these other parts and pieces to be received through the lens from the front to the very back so that as it passes through your lens onto the camera sensor that all these different parts and pieces will be received in the specific point as needed in your camera sensor to be able to interpret the view that you are anticipating to see. That's the whole point of a camera anyway, to allow the light from the lens, it passing through the lens, through your diaphragm, and through the other lens sets in your lens as a whole, to be received by the film, which is now replaced in digital photography with a sensor. And in the process, all of these light particles passing through your lenses in the various ways that they will be distorted and passed from one piece of glass to the next, it has to be corrected from the outside to the inside and to the other side of your lens again. But the convex nature, which gives us the ability to magnify and to see, all have different properties and other technical things we will get into which is one of the next videos is color aberration. But the convex nature we needed to discuss to show you and discuss the technical aspect of why the image alters upside down and which also allows for magnification and the other flexibility of using magnification for zoom. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Like this video if it has added content to your understanding of your lens and Post it down in the comments below to let us know what you learned and we will be giving some more videos with calls to action so that we will actually have parts and pieces to act on and to learn as we build our photography skill. Thank you so much.